Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Retronate, and today we are taking on a game that could very well be the worst game on the NES that I have ever played. It could be the worst on the console, I'm not sure, but I know it's terrible, but I also know that I'm not alone in being someone who had this game as a kid and kind of wanted to figure it out because I loved the movie. I'm talking about Ghostbusters for the NES, a uh, notoriously bad game that has been ripped apart and for good reason, but we'll get into why that is a little bit later. And as I've said before, because we are on the journey of finishing every NES game in the North American library, I can't pick and choose. I've got to clear this one eventually, so why not take it on today and just get it out of the way. Hey, if you haven't already, drop a sub on the channel, uh, like on this video, and comment on anything that you see throughout the course of the walkthrough that you think might be helpful to anyone else viewing it. We've had uh, some great times interacting around comments on our previous videos, figuring out tips, tricks, hacks, glitches, all sorts of stuff. Uh, the comments are a really useful section, so feel free to drop in anything that you might know about this game that I do not cover today. All right, we're going to switch over to the game and show you exactly what we are looking at. It is Ghostbusters for the NES. So quite honestly, a very nice uh, and aesthetically pleasing starting screen. The, the stark black background, the, the Ghostbusters symbol, and a little bit of a like intro screen that it gives you. Excuse me, it's cold outside and I like my coffee. All right, so there are five main parts of this game that we're going to uh, encounter. And when we hit start, you get a, a marvelous uh, Ghostbusters uh, sound that it plays. Now, I paused real quickly quickly with the select button because I want to show you the layout of the first screen. So this is the overworld map of New York City. Looks just like New York City, doesn't it? it it's it's like a replica, I swear. You can put this in on a postcard. No one would know the difference. So the way that this works, there are four main landmarks that are in this map that you're going to want to know about. You are starting as the Ghostbusters symbol right outside of Ghostbusters headquarters, represented by GBHQ at the bottom. That is where you're going to need to go to empty your ghost traps if you choose to get them. I'll explain that in a minute. The second part, right above us, in the center of the map, is Zool. That is the going to be where we go to move to the next portion of the game after we're finished with the New York City ghost-busting portion of the game. And that is the location where the four ghosts in the corner of the screen that look kind of like orange poop emojis are going to be drifting towards as we drive around the city. As they do that, the PK energy, which starts at zero and will slowly climb up one by one, uh, and we'll take a big jump upwards as the ghosts reach Zool. Um, that is going to be climbing from zero. And if it hits 99.99, you lose the game. You can't have that happen. So you need to enter Zool before that happens. The last two landmarks over on the top left, it says GS. That is your gas station. As you drive around New York City, you're going to burn up gasoline and you will need to refill your uh, vehicle every now and then. If you don't pick up gas tanks that are gas drums that are left on the streets of New York City that you can collect to build up your gasoline uh, reserve. And then the final place is the shop on the top right. And that is where we're going to head first. OK, now, before we start the game. The last thing I will tell you about how this screen works. So the longer I move around of the streets of New York City, that correlates to a longer driving session that we're going to play right after I determine the location I'm going to. So I'm going to go right up to the shop. I'm going to take the long vertical stretch, uh, vertical street headed to the shop, and then I'm going to press towards the shop and the A button to choose that as my destination. And then I'm going to go into a driving sequence uh, and we'll pause there and I'll explain what's on there. So. Let's get started. Ghostbusters headed to the shop because we need to get a capture beam and we need to get a trap. Okay, very exciting time, right? We drove there and now I'm gonna pause again. Now we're on the driving sequence. This is gonna happen over and over and over again. You see on the bottom left, it's kind of hidden by a street line. We have 191 meters, it looks like, to get to our next destination. There's our gas gauge, which is empty or full. We're right on the full right now. And there are going to be some other cars that are driving along the streets with us. If you hit the other cars, it's going to cost you money. If uh, And you can also find red gasoline drums that are left in the street. And if you collect them, they build up your gas gauge. And to control your speed, I'm going to unpause here in a second. To control your speed, you can either hold up on the D-pad or down on the D-pad to go faster and slower. Thing is, when you go faster, you move to the top of the screen and it becomes kind of hard to collect stuff. If you press down, you slow down. Um, but And it becomes easier to collect stuff, but you burn more gas. Okay? Now, once you get to your destination, 
it's going to pull you over to the side of the road and you will enter where you decided. Now we're going to get a cool rendition of the music. This I will give it credit for. This is way better than what I heard in Back to the Future. Uh, so I'll give it props for the uh, theme song not being a terrible rendition. The first thing you need to do in this game is get a beam. So you have two choices, either the capture beam or hyper beam. Obviously, we can't um, afford the hyper beam yet. Side note, I don't think it's worth it at all to get. I'll explain that in a little bit. So we're going to get a capture beam with the A button. Then if you move down the menu, there's a second screen. If you move down past the ghost food, uh, you also want to get a trap. Now, the real quick, the difference is in the traps, and this is totally a preference. The capture trap allows you to catch uh, one set of ghosts and you can carry up to three traps. After all of them are full, you'll need to go back to Ghostbusters headquarters to empty them, but they are cheaper than the super trap. However, I prefer not to have to do that. The super trap can be can store unlimited ghosts, so that's what we're gonna pick up for our inventory here, okay? Now the job is this. We need to drive around New York City and look for ghost activity in the different buildings. The only way you can find it right now is to drive next to the buildings that are being attacked. So that is the next uh, next job that we have to do is start earning money by catching ghosts around New York City. Our first item that we're going to get when we have the money after just one attack is this ghost alarm. And I'll explain what that does in a minute. So now we're going to head around New York City looking for a flashing red and white building that's being attacked. And you can only tell when you're next to it, just like I am here. So I'm going to press towards it and hit A. And now we have our driving sequence. And you can see, because it was a longer ride around the overworld map, we now have a longer ride to our destination, okay? Now you might've seen a couple of ghosts in the middle of the road. I'll explain how you could get those if you want to, but now we're at a new scene, a ghost busting scene. So we have our capture beam and our trap. We're gonna position our ghost busters somewhere on the screen and drop the trap with A. That's the first thing we have to do. After the trap is dropped, you press A again to activate your beams. And then after the beams are fired, you can hit A again to fire the trap and catch the ghosts. But if you can snag the ghosts in the beams, they will stay put and then you can bring them to the trap and catch them all. Let's give it a shot. So drop our trap, press A to fire the beams. Now I can only move the left side right away, but if I hit the B button, I can switch Ghostbusters. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this guy over here. Look at that, I caught them all. Okay, so now I'm gonna position them against the trap press the A button, it brings them all into the trap, and if you catch multiples at the same time, you get a lot of money for it. So we now have enough for the ghost alarm, but on our way, we run into another uh, building that's uh, being attacked by ghosts, so let's quick head over there and see if we can help them out as well. I hit a car on the way, so it cost me some money, which isn't great, but honestly, money is not a big concern in this game. So again, B to switch Ghostbusters. I caught them all, bring them over to the trap, press A, and you can fire away, okay? Get used to this. You're gonna repeat this a billion times, unfortunately. So you have the basics now of how we need to operate going around New York City. We're gonna go around catching ghosts and we're earning money so that we can buy the items we need for the next section of the game. Let's go catch these two. All right, now I referenced the hyper beam earlier when we went to the shop. What that will do is make these beams just a little bit longer and make it a little bit easier to catch ghosts. But honestly, the capture beam does just fine. I don't think there's any reason to have to get the hyper beam. It's not worth the money in my opinion. All right, we're back to the shop now because I want to pick up the ghost alarm. That is gonna let us see buildings that are under attack without being next to them, which is a big time saver. And at this point, let's go through the rest of the item list so that we know what we are saving for. So this is the overworld map and we're gonna stay here for a little while, but the second part of this game is climbing the stairs of Zul, the building in the middle of the map. And to do that, we're gonna need three key items to do that effectively. Number one is the most expensive, it is the sound generator. There are going to be ghosts in that building and I wanna slow them down so that it's easier to climb the stairs. We need to save a hundred grand for this sound generator. The other two items we want are the ghost food, which is pretty cheap, that's down here, and I'll explain how that works when we get inside. And then the third is gonna be this anti-ghost suit. That gives you more hit points when you're inside the building. So really, we need to save about $125,000 in order to get the items we want. The other thing to note here is that you only have four inventory spots. You can see over here, I've only got one empty spot here. So to get those items, I'm gonna have to get rid of some stuff. I'll explain the order of how we're supposed to do that as we go through the video. But for now, let's settle in and just start catching some ghosts and earning some money. And the best way that you can go through this game is to plan out where you're going. 
Um, try not to take long trips in the overworld. Try not to take, uh, you know, long roundabout ways to get to buildings. We would just want to try the, the quickest, most repeatable method of catching all four ghosts at the same time, which earn you $3,000 every time you do it, and make your way to each building that's being attacked. You can see that ghost alarm is really helpful now because I can plan out where I'm going. Um, on the driving sequences, too, I like to stay just at the top right of the screen. I, I kind of rarely hit any uh, other cars that way, uh, so it doesn't cost me too much money. And then uh, I can just kind of get to my destination pretty quickly. So there we go. Another three grand in the bank. The first item we're going to save for, too, and there's a reason for this, we're going to save for the sound generator first. So I'm going to have to get $100,000. Nice job, buddy. Uh, before I can move and go get my first item from the shop, so we're gonna get we're gonna get pretty comfortable going through this uh, ghost catching scene. And in case your mind has any feeling, you'll know that it's working if it's numb by the end of this. Honestly, these ghosts look so ridiculous. But the music, though, I can the, the, admittedly I will say the music has become a bit of an earworm for me. All right, over to another building here. You might have seen the message scrolling across the bottom of the screen there that says enter the Zool building. Technically, if I wanted to, I could enter it right now and try to finish the game. But I've done this enough to know that I'm not I'm not able to do that uh, myself without those key items that are available at the shop. Caught all four with the left Ghostbuster there. That was good. Okay, we're inching towards 20,000 now. Enter Zool building. No, I think I'll wait there, chief. Got more ghosts climbing, uh, going towards Zul. Now, if you run into them, they actually stop their progress. So that's one way to slow down the PK meter. Man, I am going to make a long trip to the next building. There, I stopped them all, but now I still got to wait for a building. There we go. Now, look how long our destination is because I circled the board. 400 meters. So if you have a longer destination, there goes a gas barrel right there on the left. If you kind of pull back after like three seconds of going full speed and you want to pick up some gas, it's possible to get here. Where the heck are you? There it is. And that'll give me a little more gas. You can see my meter's getting a little bit low, and it might be worth it to, uh, to try to get another one. Didn't get it there. All right, I'm getting low, so I might actually need to go to the gas station soon, or I could not and show you kind of a funny animation they included in this game. Maybe I'll do it that way. All right, let's catch a few more ghosts. There is one thing I didn't touch on. Uh, from the item the item shop and kind of what you saw in the driving sequence. And those are the ghosts that are laying on the road. If you were to get the ghost vacuum, which is an item at the shop, it's $2,500, I believe. It allows you to vacuum up those ghosts you run into on the road, and it gives you a little bit of money for it. I simply don't think it's worth the investment to get them. Um, that's kind of a cool idea, I guess. Uh, to catch those on the road. I think it's weird they're all just kind of sitting on the street, but uh, I never have success getting those things consistently, so it's it's never really worth it for me. Okay, all right. Long across New York City to go to this building. Now, now I'm going to get very close to losing all of my gas. Let's see if I can make it to this destination without hitting empty. Channeling my inner high school days of when you would try to get the most out of your car's gasoline meter. All right, very good. We did make it there. Beautiful catch this one. Get up here, buddy. For this screen, too, uh, you might have seen the strategy that I've got here, but I like to drop the trap at the highest point I can right in the middle of the screen uh, to shrink the distance between the beam and the ghost that I'm trying to catch. All right, here is probably where I'm going to run out of gas, and this will be kind of a funny little animation. So if you do have a trip that you take that you can't quite make it to without losing all your gasoline, uh, you will see that the Ghostbusters have to get out and push just the way that we used to have to back in the day. And they're going to have to find their way all the way to the gas station. So it could be a little bit of a push. And there we go. They finally made it to the gas pump at the gas station, signaled there by the GS. Now, when you fill up with gas, it actually costs you money from your bank. So another way that this game can actually end in a game over is if you run out of gas and do not have enough money to fill up your tank. It's very rare that something like that would happen with how easy money is to come by, but that is another way that the game can end. It can also end by you turning it off, realizing that it's atrocious and that you don't want to play it anymore. But that's maybe not the ending that you all tuned in to see, so I'll spare you that one. The music, though, is pretty good. Objectively, it's a pretty good rendition of the Ghostbusters theme. All right, we're at $30,000, obviously donating 400 of it back, because why wouldn't I do that? And let's go catch ourselves some more ghosts as we're on the trek for 100,000. There we go. Nice job. 
Now, on this scene particularly, on the ghost busting scene, you do have a time limit. It's not displayed anywhere, but if you take too long trying to catch those ghosts, perhaps if, perhaps if they wait at the top of the screen too long, um, it will just exit you out of the screen without catching anything. Uh, and then the, the paranormal call will go away. Actually, we're probably going to run into a situation or two where that happens. Uh, to this point, we haven't, but maybe we will. Actually, this one might be the one. Come on, get him. Here we go. Hurry. Okay, not that one. But we did get a nice three grand there. That was good. Our PK energy only at 652. By the time we get the money we need, it might be around like 3,000 or so. 3,500 maybe uh, before we enter Zul. So you can get a sense too of how much longer we're going to be farming these ghosts and uh, harvesting this money. But some of it depends on just how efficiently we can get through these screens. So far, not going too badly. Couple of them down here. Go oh, get down here. Thank you. It listened. Better than my kids do, that's for sure. 39 grand. Okay. Well, uh, at this point, if anyone has any stories they want to tell us in the comments, you're welcome to do that. Uh, I gotta tell you, it's gonna get pretty repetitive pretty easily going through here. Wish I had some better news for you, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the song. Oh, gosh. No one went to jail for this. No one paid for their crimes of this. This is Ghostbusters, a beloved movie franchise they turned into this. Unbelievable. Still need 58000 to get our sound generator. Just waiting for these paranormal instances to pop up. I don't make too many trips to the gas station either. It's just not worth it to me. I'll let the guys push if I get to that point. Or maybe luckily collect a few gas barrels along the road if I'm lucky. There we are. Beautiful. Come on, folks. We need some ghosts. There we are. Couple of them there. Give me some gas. Nah, it's over there. Never gonna catch it. All right. Half tank. And grabbing some more money. If you guys had this game as a kid... Um, this is just a reminder that you have therapy next Thursday, okay? And make sure that you, if you're going to cancel, uh, that you do it in advance, because they will bill you if you don't give them appropriate notice, okay? How many fires occur in New York City that you need this many fire hydrants? It's the only other thing on the scene. What is that, 10 meters? We need another fire hydrant. This, the city is ablaze 24-7. All right. Past halfway now. 51,000. We're getting there. I do this thing in my head when I'm playing these games that I'll, I'll start to uh, calculate down the number of instances I still have to go through if I catch them perfectly. All right. There we go. A couple of alarms going off. Man, as a kid, though, I had no idea what to do in this. And I, I, couldn't, even, I couldn't even fathom, like, what I was supposed to do, how the driving scene mattered what to do with these ghosts. I thought these ghosts would hurt me. They don't at all. They can hit you and it doesn't do anything to your health. Like, there's no health or anything. It's not like you have to avoid them here. You'll have to avoid them in the next scene, but not here. This is just just money harvesting. And you get to decide, basically, when you want to enter Zool uh, to try your hand at, at uh, climbing the stairs and defeating Gozer atop Zool. So... And you can see too. Oh, that was another thing on the uh, on the driving sequence. There really is no reason to not go as fast as possible for as long as possible because the gas gauge reduces at the same speed whether you're going slow or fast. So there's really no uh, benefit to going slow unless you're trying to time out grabbing a gas can, uh, something like that. But for the most part, I'm just going to floor it on the uh, right right lane and just. Uh, get to my destination as quick as possible. Oh, this is a mess. What are you doing, Nate? Oh, there we go. Drove them all into that one. That works. 60K. Come on, we're getting there. A couple more alarms going off too, right? We got one more here. We can get that before the gas station. Maybe we can get lucky and get a gas drum to appear in the right lane here. So I don't have to stop. They are everywhere though, aren't they? All right, there we go. Gotcha. 63. Very exciting. Oh, nice and nearby. I love that. Get another call in before the gas station. Come on, buddy. I am walking here. Isn't that what they say? I'm actually driving here. But the point is made. 
Come here. Come here, loser. Now, you don't have to have them in the beam to fire the trap, too. If I just feel saucy and want to fire it up there, I can catch them. Now, granted, I didn't there. Oh, but I did on that one. But if you catch them sequentially, all four at the same time, you get more money for that. So I always try to hold out for that. All right, I will show you what it looks like to just travel to the gas station. Maybe I make it there on this tank, or maybe they push it there anyway, but might as well just take this time with no alarms going off. And we made it. We'll fill up over here. I'll fuel up using my retro Nate mug. Hey, a shameless plug. All right. Full tank of gas and trying to rid the city of ghosts once again. 64,000. So what is that? 36,000 we need still. That's 12 more perfect scenes. This being the first. Can we get 12 perfect scenes? Well, it's not. this guy's not cooperating. There we go. All right, 11 to go, as long as I don't hit anybody, so probably more than that. I just want the alarms to go off. I also have heard it said that uh, it's pretty unfair that every time there's a car accident, the Ghostbusters are the ones found liable and have to pay. I think it's a reasonable point. These guys don't have insurance. But then again, when you're flooring it the entire time with zero regard for other cars on the road. I suppose that's that's sort of cutting the red tape, making it a little more efficient in the justice system, determining that we're at fault. So there we go. About $30,000 more needed for our sound generator. That's the biggest investment we're going to have to make. After that, it goes a lot quicker, getting the final two items that we're going to need. That's going to be the uh, ghost suit and the ghost food that we're going to collect. If you get ghosts facing two different ways on a beam, too, it forms this weird-looking alien person, uh, and that gives me a, the smallest amount of joy playing this game that uh, that turns into a funny-looking sprite. That's about all I've got. It's the only... When you play this game and your mind is sufficiently numb from going through this as often as I have, you have to find little, little wins, and that's the one that I had, was making the ghosts look like a little person. See it up there on the top? See him? See him? He looks like a little dude. What's up, little ghost dude? I don't know. That's all I got, man. That's all I got. All right. Short trips. Make this repeatable and sustainable. Here we go. What, we're 22 minutes in? Feels like it's been a year. Come on. Come on around here. Come on. Oh, get over here. Shoot. I was worried I was going to run out of time, so I fired the trap a little early. That's all right. Got them all. Oh, a couple more of these to go. Ghostbusters in general, though, a pretty good theme song. I mean, who doesn't love it? It's great. I ain't afraid of no ghost. That was a big, this was such a cultural icon, and they turned that movie into this. <sighs> Some wounds never heal. Let's go. Actually, if I'm being honest, Ghostbusters 2 was more of my movie that I grew up on with Vigo the Carpathian. And I still, to this day, drop the lines of... Actually, one of the things that I, I do regularly, if, if anyone's seen Ghostbusters 2, is the line that I love to rely on <laughs> is this, is when uh, Janos is in the art museum and he's talking to the person who is, like, cleaning up a, a painting. And he goes, Everything you're doing is bad. I want you to know this. I rely on that half a dozen times a week, probably. So there, that's my little gift to you. Everything you're doing is bad. I want you to know this. I also like, go, please go. When he came down and didn't want the Ghostbusters in his art gallery. Ghostbusters 2, highly underrated sequel, I would say. Okay, weird. I don't care. I feel like another Bill Murray movie here where I go, there is no way that this game is ever going to end. Not as long as he keeps seeing his shadow. Somebody's got to stop him. He has to be stopped. And I've got to be the one to stop him. 89,000. We're close. 
All right. What, four more of these? Five more of these? Before we get to the next item. Come on, baby. I love that these ghosts don't ever learn a different pattern either. They're like, you know, I think what we'll do is fly towards the middle of the screen where the beams are. Oh, you don't say. Also, how are you getting money from these ghosts? Is the city paying us or are these like ghosts that couldn't cross over because they had gambling debts or something? I don't know. You can see what a game like this does to you. It just turns you into, you turns your brain to mush. Maybe all those concerned parents back in the day about video games had a point. Maybe they only played this game. All working theories. Oh, dear God. Two more of these. Oh, let's go. PK energy is actually fairly low. This is actually a faster run of this than I typically do uh, when I'm getting the sound generator. So consider yourselves lucky. I know you're looking at me on this screen and this game and uh, pro possibly just drooling out of the front of your head and going, you want me to feel lucky for watching this? But actually, yes, I do. Oh, one more. One more. Give me one more. One more. If anyone knows that baseball movie reference, you're my people. All right. We'll catch him. Beautiful timing. Beautiful. They flew right into me. All right. 100,000. Let's go. Finally get ourselves up to the shop. Now, granted, we're probably going to need to stop for gas first, but we'll try. Yeah, we're not going to make it. We're definitely going on E. Did we make it? Oh, shut up. Did we make it? We made it. That is beautiful. We're getting the sound generator. Huge purchase for us there. Okay. Start button to go back. Still going to use our ghost alarm. And I'm sure we're going to have to stop at the gas station now, but that's fine. Yeah, look at that. We barely made it to the shop, but they're going to push us to the gas station. We'll fill up. Now we have to earn $20,000 for the ghost busting suit, uh, but that'll be so much faster. And uh, then we'll, we'll progress here. And we're about, I don't know, two, three minutes away from entering Zool. All right, hold your horses. I need my coffee. Full tank of gas. That should be the last time we need to fuel up before we enter the building and proceed to the roof to try to take on Gozer. Okay. Come on. Come on. Easy peasy. These ghosts are being very cooperative, I will say. And as you can see, gas very cheap. It's like uh, 200 bucks or something for a full tank, uh, which thanks, Biden, you know. So, all right. I'd say thanks no matter who is a president, by the way. That's not a partisan thing. Okay. Here we go. Ghosts. Oh, come on. Down here. Get over here. Stay. I'm going to run out of time. Yeah, see? So, eventually the timer just runs out and they just take you away from the scene. You can't just hang there all day. Okay, a couple more calls to get. 20,000 is the next uh, financial landmark that we're getting to. Oh, the other thing that I need to mention. So once you get the sound generator and subsequently when you get the Ghostbuster suit, um, it retracts your invitation to Zool. And that's the reason that we have to get those first because uh, we can only hold four inventory items. So if you get the ghost food first, which is the third item we want to get, that is an item that does not ret rescind your invitation to Zool. You see here now that we cannot enter Zool right now. We don't have it scrolling across the bottom of the screen. So we have to get these items in this order uh, if you want to get all three before you enter the building. Okay. One more set of these. Oh, beautiful. I love it when they descend right away. It's so much, uh, so much less guesswork and just can fire through these quickly. PK energy only at 2709. Plenty of room there. Thanks a lot for sideswiping me, buddy. Off we go. And we need about four more of these before we can buy our last item. There we go. Fire them away. Stop all those guys. Beautiful. Ooh, two side by side. Love to see that. 192. All right, we're there. Half tank of gas, we're totally making it. Totally making it on this tank. Of course, I said that. It probably won't work out now, but whatever. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. All 
right. Two more. And one of... Oh, and they're right next to me, too. Beautiful. Come on. You know, when I set out to say that I was going to beat every game in the NES library in North America, I kind of had, like, Mega Man, Contra... Final Fantasy, Dragon Warrior, you know, like, good games. I had those in my mind. And they slipped this thing in there on me. Almost to troll me, I say. Come on. Come here. Come here now. Come on down here. Oh, darling. Downstairs, please. All right, let's just catch him. Oh, I missed him? Come on. All right, we got him there. All right, got our 20 grand. We're going to go ahead and buy our suit next. And we'll go to the shop first. You see our invitation to Zool is there scrolling across the bottom, but we're going to do away with that quickly because we're going to go pick up our Ghostbuster suit. Now, we do need to get rid of an item in order to make space for it. This is where we're going to get rid of our um, ghost alarm because at this point, we'll we'll start uh, driving around the city to find everything. So the ghost alarm is this, uh, it looks like the PKE meter here that Egon carries. Just hit the B button to switch to your inventory and A to sell it. And now we're going to hit B again to get our anti-ghost suit. So now all we need is the ghost food, which we almost have enough money for. It's not going to be a trick getting the money. It's going to be a trick getting the invite to Zool. So that's what we're going to be doing next. Let's catch as many ghosts as we can before we get that invite. We'll grab our ghost food, and then we are on to the next section of the game. If you are still watching, by the way, uh, whew, boy, things will get better. Okay? I promise. Things don't have to stay the way they are. Uh... I just want to offer you that encouragement if you've still stuck around to this point and watched me farm ghosts in this game for the better part of 30 minutes. Um, you know, life isn't uh, predetermined, you know, and uh, things can improve. So uh, my, my best wishes go out to you, okay? Here we are. Let's just keep catching ghosts until we get that invite. That is all we're waiting on now. Come on. There we go. I don't know if I even need to catch all four or if I just need to respond to calls at this point, but I'll just catch them anyway just to make sure I've got enough. And we're just gonna and now we have to move around the city, remember, because we don't have that ghost alarm. So we're gonna just keep the outside if we just take the outside streets uh around the city, that should give us um enough it, that'll put us in contact with all the buildings at some point as we make laps around the buildings. So Okay. A few more to go. I know I've said that for seemingly forever, but I really do mean it. Give me an invite. Not yet. Maybe one or two more. There we go. Dee dee dee. Baseline on this is still legit. It's a good baseline. Do 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 do. Come on. Come on. Oh, get... This is throwing me off. There we go. All right. Was that enough? One more? Oh, one more. PKE energy around 3,200, 3,500. I said it'd be kind of around there by the time we entered, so... You can tell I've done this way too many times at this point in my life. Which is more than once. Come on. Come Oh, get over here. There we go. All right. Is that enough? Give us the invite. Beautiful. There it is. Enter Zool. All right. Over to the shop to grab our ghost food. So we're going to quickly enter here. And getting the ghost food does not rescind that invite to Zool, which is why we have to get that last. And we're also going to sell uh, one of the items we need to catch ghosts. So we're officially transitioning away now from all of that. Let's sell the trap. Um, and then we will make space for the ghost food by that. And now we are headed to Zool. Okay. Same thing. Got to drive over to this building. We have finally made it to the next section of this build of this, uh, of this game. Fully equipped. The Ghostbusters enter Zool. Here we go. We have got to climb 23 floors to get to the uh, roof of this building. There are no elevators and there are doors on every floor behind the doors. Oh, well, it, all right, so here's how it's laid out. There are four ghosts. Those four ghosts that were making their way to Zool, they're all in here now, and they're going to bounce around the screen the entire time you're climbing. 
if they hit you, it'll make a noise and you'll catch it. Cause I'm sure I'll get hit as I go through this. If they hit you five times, when you have that anti-ghost suit, you fall down, fall down three times and you're dead and the game is over and you have to start again. However, behind the doors, there are the ability to get some, some things that help you. It could be empty where you open it and nothing happens. It could be a, a, some sort of a healing um, item where you open the door. It makes like this vortex sound and that will actually give you more HP. It seems. And behind the other option is that it could be a ghost behind there, which will knock you down, but it will not hurt you. So those are the options. Now, in order to move through this section, all you have to do is tap the A button uh, once in the direction you want to go. So as you see, I'm tapping the A button here and I'm taking my steps. If I tap it once, they move one step and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and climb these steps. Now, here's the part where it gets tricky for how to avoid these ghosts. They never despawn and they move um, relative to where they are on the screen. They're, they're always moving relative to where they are on the screen. So as you climb, they go up. And as like, you have to kind of consider where they are relative to the monitor you're on, not relative to where they are on the scene. Like, uh, you, so navigating here, you really want to take your time because if they gather up on, or catch up to you and sort of uh, surround you, it becomes very, very difficult to navigate through here. Okay, we did have a little opening there. Let's get out of here. Okay, the other thing to look out for here, so I don't need to open the doors right now because right now I haven't gotten hit, but if I were to get hit or knocked down a couple times, I'd start opening doors to see if I could regain some health. The hit boxes on these guys are a little bit weird. I typically try to, the rule of thumb I use is I avoid their tails. Those tend to be the things that, uh, like the midsection and their tail seem to be what trigger the hits more often. So I try to avoid those. Their heads are actually a, a reasonably safe to, to deal with. So they're all at the top. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, get over to the left. Now, if I get to a point, oh boy. All right, I got hit there. I wanted to get out of the way so he didn't, uh, didn't jack me up too bad. Now, I can use the ghost food that I bought using the start button if I wanted to. So, um, what that would do is basically attract all of the ghosts to one section of the level. In fact, uh, I don't know why I've, I don't want to use it right now. I'll, I'll show you the ideal time to use it once I've got them in a good position. But right now I can actually sneak through and get up to this level. So we're up to level seven, only got hit once, not too bad so far. Going to wait here, see what that bottom ghost does. Does he drop down? They're hanging there, but if I climb, I'm going to go right into him. I don't love that. Okay, he's going up, so I'm going up. There we go. All right, let's see if I can uh, let's see if I can attract them over to the right side here. Uh, they're all going to start moving towards the ghost food now. You see that one on the top left. So I dropped it over there and then hid over here. I'm going to let them all kind of attract over there, and I'm going to be able to climb a floor for free. Nice little uh, nice little breath of fresh air. In the original instruction manual too, it did recommend using a turbo controller for this section. So for those of you who say, well, a turbo controller would be cheating. No, it actually recommends it in the manual. I don't have one because uh, I maybe I have my own uh, deeper issues I have to resolve that I feel like I need to punish myself by pressing the A button an ungodly amount of times in this game. Uh, but that is what I'm choosing to do. So all right, I'm going to move up so that that ghost food is on the lower level, and then I'm going to be able to go all the way over to the left here and basically climb another level almost for free. Okay. Now, I don't want to leave this scene too fast because once that ghost food is off the screen, they're going to disperse and start climbing again, and I have to keep an eye on where they're going. I don't want to take a bunch of hits for free. Okay, let's go see where they go. All right, they're all going up, so I'm not going up yet because they're all climbing. You see how they would have caught me? Take your time in this section. Okay. Back out. Okay, where are you going? Yeah, go up. Get out of here. Nobody wants you here. Come on, people. And by people, I mean undead, unresolved ghost people. You're going up. I don't like that. Ah, shoot. Took a hit. Can't get up there yet. Gotta wait until the, the right time presents. Maybe here? There it is. Get through there. You saw I can walk through his head and it doesn't damage me. Because the tails are really where that hitbox generates from. Do I got a space here? They're gonna move. Nope, this is no good. 
There we go. Little window. And then hammer on that A button. All right, we're up to floor nine. Not quite halfway. Where are you going, dude? Get out of here. There we go. Wait on the stairs here. The key here, you don't want to tank through this thing. They just, you will take way too many hits and it's unpredictable. It's completely random what's going to be behind those doors. So do yourself the favor. One of the big mistakes I made in this game, other than playing it, was trying to tank through a lot of these sections and it's just not worth it. Oh, Got to get out of there. There we go. Managed to get through without taking a hit. That was nice. All right. Now do I got space? Go up again. Go, s ugh. Come on. Man, I can't get through here at all. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't take a hit. I thought I was going to take one there with the last Ghostbuster. The other thing that stinks is that their formation is not really tight. So, you know, you've got to got to consider that all three of them have to go wherever that that leader goes. And uh, you got to keep them all out of the out of the danger zone, as Kenny Loggins, of course, sang about in a uh, in a very detailed way. Another 80s movie gem. Okay, we gotta get out of here, because you're causing me issues. Go down. Yep, go down. There you go. That a boy. There you go. Bro, get lost. Whew. All right, floor 12. More than halfway there. Let's see what's next. The trickiest part for me on this section was realizing that they are always relative to your position, not the position on the screen. So always gauge whether you can move uh, safely by where the ghosts are relative to the Ghostbusters, not where they are relative to the stairs or the floor or anything else because they move with you. So them all at the top of the screen is huge. And actually, you know what? I'm going to drop a ghost food there and let the... Oh, get out of here. There, go that way. They finished their uh, current move and then moved over to the ghost food. Uh, so that, you know, when they're all gathered up at the top there, you can get a nice free uh, free floor if you can get that ghost food over to the right when they're all out of range. Okay, up to floor 15. Again, perhaps the worst game I've ever played. And it's almost over, for God's sake. No elevators. Absolutely just... By the time the calisthenics are done, these guys, how are these guys ever going to take on Gozer? They've got to be exhausted. All right, keep the food on there a little bit more. And then let's watch where they go as we get that, move that off the screen. All right, there, oh, we got one of them moving up. All right, let's avoid that if we can. No, you got to go. Stay close, you're moving up. All right, you too, get out of here. Oh, don't move back down. I don't like that at all. By the way, if you don't have the sound generator that we picked up, these guys would be going twice as fast. So to me, I've seen people muscle through it without the sound generator. It's incredible to me because I have I struggle big time with uh, avoiding these guys. And uh, so I would say that if you can do it without the sound generator, more power to you. But that is not that is a level of difficulty I'm not ready to undertake. Oh, we got this. Come on. Ah, one shot. Okay. I've only been hit three times, which means that uh, two more hits will knock me down for the first time. But I should be okay. Floor 18. Um, sort of staying out of danger here. We got a nice little window. Let's go up the stairs. You eventually get the rhythm of what's safe and what's not. Um, oh, man. We got everybody over here. Let's get the food out here. When they're all up at the top of the screen... Bringing them down to the food is a, a nice way. Food on the right-hand side is a nice way to get a free floor. So that's the third food I've dropped, so I don't have any more. You get three instances of that that you can drop when you buy that item. But it is helpful to, to give yourself a free uh, floor to climb. We're right near the top now. Very little left to go. Just have to uh, draw these ghosts down to the, uh, the bottom here and avoid them. We'll climb slowly so we don't run into their tails. I think I'm okay. All right, there we go. Let them descend. 
three more floors to go. Let's let them move down a little bit more. Keep going, guys. Even when they all gather like that, they make the cool, funny, alien-looking guy, too. I don't know. Kind of fun. Okay. Off we go. Let's see where they go. Uh, they're all rising. I don't love it. They're all hanging down there. All right. Got to wait. Oh, wait. I got a window. Uh-oh. Okay, we got out of there. Whew. That was close. Get out of here, sir. There we go. Beautiful. Well, I thought it was. Here, let's tighten up the formation here. Right under their tail. All right, last floor is in sight now. Just got to get to the top. As soon as you get to the top section, everyone disappears. Okay, let's, maybe we tank through this. Nah, maybe we don't. Come on, we've gone this far. We didn't even take a hit or didn't even take a knockdown. So I'm not going to ruin it now. Look at that. Beautiful. Climb the stairs, got through. We are now making it to the roof. Okay. Pause here. You start out right in front of Gozer. Okay. You fire with A. B does nothing. And they're going to, the two dogs on the side are going to start shooting projectiles at you and ghosts will start spawning from Gozer. Okay. Now, if I move to the bottom of the screen, what you'll do is see the marshmallow man climbing the, what I assume is the empire state building. It's the Zool building. And if he gets to the top, that is game over. So you have to finish Gozer before he gets to the top. Let's quick go to the bottom and show you what that looks like. There he is. There's your gauge on the bottom and ghosts will appear here too, but you can kill them with a now if I go to the top, I'm going to go ahead and fire at Gozer's head kind of over on the left side of their head. Uh, I find that that's the most uh, most consistent way to get through. Now, all these ghosts are going to spawn the whole time. If there are too many, just move down and then back up and it'll despawn everybody. And then you can kind of get in here for a couple of shots, perhaps. So there we go. You generally won't run out of time playing this, but you might run out of hit points. As you see, I'm not doing great, of course, because it's a, a recorded walkthrough and I've played 50 minutes of this stupid game and I have, of course, I'm going to blow it here at the end. Why wouldn't that be the way that life treats me? Sorry, mini melt down there. Let's go ahead and despawn and try this again. No worries with the marshmallow man right now. Come on, a little S, S motion. We cannot die here. Shoot. Come on, man. How close are you? I didn't even bother looking. Double shot. That was big. Three. Come on, let's go. Oh, five shots. That was big. All right, I think I feel much better now. Cool thing, too. Marshmallow Man gets bigger as he gets closer, which is kind of... Uh, it. It's actually a little bit jarring. It's kind of cool. We did it! We did it! Gozer is defeated and destroyed, and it flashes. Ending screen? Congratulation. You have completed a great game and proved the justice of our culture. Now go and rest our heroes. Congratulation. That's it. And you get the cast. Guys, it is done. I will never play this game ever again. It is horrible. But it is done. And if you had this game as a kid and you cons and you played it and you drove for like two seconds, you're like, this thing sucks. I don't want to play this game. I don't disagree with you. It is terrible. But it is now done. It's crossed off our list. And I have shown you the way that you can do it. So if you ever want to be a legend among your friends that had this game and thought it was terrible and unbeatable, now you know how to do it. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for keeping me company during this when I otherwise would have just uh, faded into an oblivion. Uh, if you haven't already, drop a sub on the channel, drop a like on this video, and leave me a comment, maybe offering, I don't know, moral support, emotional support for enduring this. Uh, but I've appreciated it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.